check this. Check this. So, I've been having this thing for a while now. You've been seeing it a lot here. So, one of the big troubles is carrying around. When you're not riding it, carrying around is like hard, dude. So, it comes with this handle here. Look how dirty this thing is. But like, it comes with this handle here. So you can just like grab it. Like, it's convenient, but after a while it's not. So I checked this guy on YouTube and he uses kind of like paracord threaded and you can make kind of like your own handle. So look at this. I was able to make that one. Just like grab it here, boop, and you just carry it around. How about that? Okay, for today's video, uh, mm, I think for today's video, we're gonna start with changing this background. I never been to this place that I wanna go. I mean, I have a pass around, but I have never gone inside. So let's see how it goes, okay? Let's go. And we are here, Marjorie Park. Now let's see if I can find a good spot. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work out the way that I was planning to, but that's a great view. Ugh. Wait, I thought it was gonna be cold. It's been cold this whole week in Tampa and I thought it was gonna be cold, but like, the sun is super shiny and it's actually kind of hot. Anyway, all right. First things first, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope you have a great time and you have an awesome time doing your shopping. I didn't buy anything. We never bought anything. We always just like check on the check on the deals and that's it. I think I only did it once and yeah, I said I will never do it again. Finally, I was able to record a video about uh, about Thanksgiving. I mean, I put it on YouTube, but it wasn't public. It was just more like a family video. I was trying to like get that video like, I don't know, for a while now. Like last year I tried to do it, but the moment that I got to the villages, like I stopped recording. Right now I made like a pretty cool, I mean, I like the video. I could be a little bit biased, but I got the video. It was cool. It was, has a little bit of influence of Odyssey, Space Odyssey. So. <laughs> yeah, for what it was worth, like, I think it was a cool video. Uh, secondly, Friday was my birthday. Yeah, I became an old guy. Uh, it was my 35th birthday. I didn't do much for that day, to be honest. Uh, I had to work, so I worked till like almost 3.30. And after that, um, I just took the old lady for a beer at the sale. Uh, that's kind of like a bar. That's a bar that is right across, the, right across here. Uh, well, across the river. But like, yeah, we just got there and like we have a beer and yeah, pretty much that was it. No, I went to Vertical Ventures and uh, dude, uh, I did 35 boulder problems for my 35th year. Man, that was hard. I thought at first that it's gonna be, I thought it was gonna be hard, but I never thought it was gonna be this hard. Like everything that I could, like B4s, B3s, B2, B1s, B, I couldn't send B6, but I still try them. Or by the end of the night, I was trying just in B2s because I couldn't hold it. I was like, gripless, <laughs> if that's a word. That same Friday, Leslie was the maid of honor for like Tori's wedding. I miss you, I wish you were here. So yeah, I mean, congratulations to the lovely couple. I'm sorry I couldn't go to your wedding. I was like stuck at work. Uh, but from the pictures I saw, it looks like it was really awesome. Uh, yeah, Leslie was the maid of honor, so she prepared a speech and everything, and yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, that happens. It's been a busy week. I also got, uh, also for my birthday, I forgot, for my birthday, I got a waffle maker. Leslie got me a waffle maker. I've been making a lot of waffles. <laughs> I'm still learning how to use it. 
today we're gonna take care of Christmas. I'm thinking we need to go and get our Christmas tree. Last year we didn't get a Christmas tree because we have like the whole water flood incident. I wanna have a Christmas tree. Leslie wanna have a Christmas tree. Luna wanna have a Christmas tree. Today we're getting a Christmas tree. Well, not right now. Still have to wait to get Leslie. We need to get Leslie's approval, so yeah, we just have to wait. Later. So, while I was waiting for Leslie, I started moving like everything around. It wasn't that much, we're just moving that thing. But that will clear the space for our Christmas tree. So we'll put it over there. Okay, we're going for the Christmas tree and we also need to get a base for our Christmas tree. We used to have one. Dude, I always forgot to put this thing on. We used to have one, but with the whole moving, that thing disappeared. So, we're gonna have to get a new one too. Okay. First off, let's start. We we need uh what the heck happened there? Uh, we need a base for a tree. That's Shopping for mugs. We got to the Christmas section. It's a little bit of a troll. Uh, I found a Christmas base. A Christmas tree base, but it's huge. Look at that. And so we couldn't find the Christmas base. The smallest one that they have is like 10 feet. We're just fixed on pajamas right now. We usually don't get our Christmas trees from Home Depot, uh, but since we, we not, and we might not, but since we need to get a Christmas base, a Christmas tree base, uh, we just decided to hey, let's just check on these ones and see how they look. Looks like <laughs> why are all the trees like that? <laughs> I need to see them open. All right, we got the Christmas tree, uh, the Christmas tree base. Uh, some one of these things. Uh, Those are how's it acorns. called? Acorn. Eventually. All right, guys, we got to the spot. Look at Graham there. Look, Santa's there. This is usually where we get our Christmas trees. We like it because like all the Christmas trees are like open, so you can look at them. It's not like Home Depot. Look like they're about to die. <laughs> can you smell the pine tree in the air? Yes. I like that. Okay, we need something around five feet, so it cannot be like huge. It's like checking out what type of like tree we need. Year before that, we got a tree that nobody could touch. Like it was like so spiky every time they were putting the the Christmas size, we were like ow ow ow. So. Yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. There's a couple of things that you gotta you gotta remember. But the cool thing is, like, dude, you actually remember those things. Like right now, we're looking at Christmas trees, and we remember the time that we got a, a Christmas tree that it was all like spiky, you couldn't touch it, or that same one was actually crooked. So we have to put like some weights on the back in order for it to not to fall. We're trying to prevent those mistakes today. Okay, so every year we come here, and it's really great, honestly. I love it. And there's trees everywhere. It smells really good. Ow, I just hurt my face a little. But we find the perfect tree every year. And I think this may be the They just spray it with water.
was a success. We got the Christmas tree, we got the base, we got the pajamas, so I think we're pretty much ready for Christmas. Now, we're just gonna leave this thing today so the branch can come down, and we're probably gonna be decorating this weekend. But that's for next video. Christmas tree. Uh, one, two, uh. <laughs> Yay! What does it look like?